Okay, I've gotten everything all ready to go, ready to be hung, and um, I'm going to show you what to do first. Because we have one big focal point bead, what you want to do is grab a head pin, put one end of your chain on, on the head pin like this, and then put the other end on. So now we can find the center of our chain and then I'll stick the head pin in like this because this is the center of our chain and what you're going to do now is open one of your jump rings and these are very tiny jump rings and I need to open them because they're good and strong I need to open them with two pliers you're going to take your middle focal one where your head pin is stick that in your on your um, your jump ring and close your jump ring nice and tight like so and now we can remove the head pin and you don't even have to throw this head pin out because you can straighten it with your pliers As long as you didn't do a wacko job at, at um, see, perfectly fine. All right, so now we've gotten gotten the um, middle of our our bracelet, and see how all the rings we're gonna hang on on the rings that are, make sure they're all facing the same way. So here, 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 here. We're not gonna hang anything on the rings that are going this way over the chain so now what you want to do is kind of find a placement for your um, your um, beads so I'm just going to zoom the camera out so we can see where we're going to put these so we have two of these and we want to decide maybe we'll put one on each end over here like this I'm just kind of roughing it and we have fish, so we kind of want those in the middle there. Actually, we don't want those in the middle. We want to put these in the middle, okay? And then we want to put a fish here and put a starfish here. So we're, whatever we do on one side, we want to try and do it on both sides, all right? And somehow we need to fit this little guy in and we kind of want him to hang beside the the big one <coughs> and then we want to put our dolphins in so let's put our dolphins one on each side here and let's put our whales um, over here by the over here between that and that. So we're going to put it between those. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we want to take these three on this side. So we have seven, um, seven sets to put on here. And we have this much of a chain. So we want to work off the chain and we want to try to be even. So take this, move it over, take these three off, take these three off, because this is the middle one. Okay. Now we're going to find the center between the, this shell and this end. So what you're going to do is pick up your, your head pin. Again, find the center like this. Pick it up, put your other end on, and hopefully we find the middle this way. And it's the right part of the chain that we need to use. Or you can just count. So that way if you count, like I did yesterday, you're not going to mess up. 
So count from here on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So seven, seven of these we have to skip and on the eighth one is where the middle of this chain is going to be. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is the middle between this one and the end. So let's mark that like so. Pick up our jump ring, open your jump ring. Open it, pick up your piece that you're putting on, your middle piece, and make sure the chain's all laying the same way and you hook it in here the exact same way your middle one is. Pull your head pin out and close this jump ring up. Like so. And now you're going to do the same thing on the other side of your neck, your chain, or your bracelet. You're going to count from here in the middle. You're going to count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's the eighth one. Let's just make sure there's still seven over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it does it is working. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to sit my Head pin like this, making sure I don't twist my chain because I want to hook it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's where it's got to go, and it's got to go that way. So I'm sitting the head pin on the bottom so you can see. I'm doing it this way because I need to hook it in there. So grab an eye p or jump ring, open up your jump ring, take your other matching piece, put it on, and carefully hook your jump ring onto that one where you need to be, right there, and pull out your head pin. So now we have it even, and close your jump ring up, nice and tight. Okay, so there's each one on evenly. Okay. Oops, I went too far up. Up there. Now we've got three to hang off here on this side of this dangle. So we have three to hang off in here. We want to hang them evenly again. So what you want to do is count your spaces again so there's one two three four five six seven so you're going to count one two three and the middle one is four and this is where you want to hook your middle one so that's going to be the whale pick up your jump ring open it up hook your whale in the jump ring and hook it onto the loop of your chain, which can be a bit tricky, and pull out your head pin. And close it up. Nice and <coughs> snug and tight. There, that's in there. And if you work in an auto mount, everything is going to uh, work out nicely for you. So now we have we're down to having three spaces left in between here. So we have one, two, three. So of course the next one's going to hang in the middle. So we're just going to count. See, it's hanging here. We're going to go into the middle one like so. So that's the next one we're going to hang it in. Okay. Okay, so we pick an up a jump ring, opening it, and we've got our part mark there, so let's pick up our piece on the jump ring, 
And now where our head pin is, we're going to put that there. And then we're going to close our jump ring. Carefully. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Okay, so we've got so far everything hanging off. Now we have our space in here. So making sure that our loops are all facing the same way. We hung this in the middle. Now we got this to hang. Starfish. Okay, I'm just a bit confused here. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, where's my dolphin? And this belongs here. Now we need to hang one right here so we gotta count one two three and put one in this loop here and we want to put it right on this side so they're all on the bottom so here we're gonna pick up our jump ring and we're gonna open our jump ring and pick up our fish and our fish off there and again catch the loop right where our head pin is take the head pin out and close up the jump ring like so okay so We got that done. Now we need to work on adding our three last pieces in here on this piece. And now we need to find the middle. So we're going to put the starfish. Let's put the dolphin in the middle here. So I believe there should be seven loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Half of seven is one, well no, half of seven. So one, two, three, and on the fourth one, that's where we're gonna stick it, and then there's three more on there. Now we're going to grab a <coughs> jump ring, and open our jump ring. These are getting really hard to open with my fingers. Open it, turn it towards me, and pick up our dolphin, and put him on. And now we're going to pick up where we put our head pin, pick up in that loop this way. And take the head pin out, and close up your jaw. Okay, so what we did over here, we're going to do over here. Okay. We're going to put a starfish on this side. So there's one, two, three empty loops. We need to go into the middle one. So that would be this one here. Pick up a ring. Open the ring. Let's put our starfish on. And hook it into where the head pin is on the right side so they all hang down in the same way. And close up this jump ring. 
nice and tight. Okay, now we need to put the last one on. That's so pretty. The last one's going to go on this last loop. So let's grab a jump ring and open our jump ring. That's a strong jump ring. And add our last one in here and add it. Make sure we're adding it on the same way all the rest of these are hanging off. So they're all hanging this way. Make sure we loop it the same way there. All right. Now, on this last one here, we're going to add our claw, our lobster claw. So let's grab one with the package. Let's make sure it opens and closes. Perfect. Now let's open a jump ring. I don't like that one. Get a nice strong jump ring. Open it. Open the claw or add the, your lobster clasp on it. But make sure you add it. So that the dangle is hanging at the bottom like the rest of them are. To that one. Um, okay, something's not adding up here, right? Hang on. One, 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 one. one. Huh. Something didn't add up here. Let me see here. Not too sure what happened here. I'm going to have to take this one off because I don't like how it's on the end here and there's a big gap and I'm not sure how this happened. Shouldn't have happened. <coughs> and I'm going to get a new jump ring because this one I destroyed. Okay. <coughs> Hmm. Oh, I see what I did wrong. We weren't supposed to put it on the end one. Okay. Between here, there's three, and from this end one, there's one, two, three. We're supposed to put it in this loop, and I put it on the end. kind of thought that wasn't right. Should have went with my instinct. These are really strong jump rings. All right, so this is hanging off like some. So we need to go in this one. And we need to put it in this way so it's on the bottom. And close it up. There we go. Now let's add our claw. Lobster claw. 
on the very end of your bracelet. Yeah, there should have been one loop left and this is the loop for your closure. And close it up tight. There we go. So there's one part of one half of your bracelet done. Okay. One half. And your charms are just hanging off nicely. So you've kind of spaced it <coughs> to get it nice and even. You're, you've got to space one extra loop between there. Now you could put something in there if you want lots of dangles. But I'm just going to leave it like that. So now you're just going to repeat this for the other side, except on this end, you're going to add your oval jump ring for your closure, and you're going to add your um, little dangly fish here. So there's the oval jump ring, and there's my little thing. So let's open our oval jump ring. Give it a twist towards me, add on my fishy, and add on the very end of my chain, <coughs> close this up, nice and tight, and when we do our bracelet up, do up your bracelet make sure it does up good in there so what you did on this side this half of this big shell here you're gonna just repeat the process on this side now and you kind of broke the middle up with this bead here so I'm gonna go do that off camera and then I'm gonna come back and show you what the finished bracelet looks like this one has a little bit less dangles not by much a little bit less. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so there we have it. There's our ocean, uh, Oceans Away bracelet. So now I have two of them, but this one has more dangles because it's bigger. So this one's smaller for my daughter. This one's bigger for me. But it's basically finished off the same way with one space in between all the extra dangles. Like I said, you can put on as many dangles as you want. Oh, I know what I forgot to put on here, on her bracelet, were these little shell fish, or these little shells here. And I might stick a couple on, on here just to add some, some color to it. But that's it. You can add, put how much ever you want, and just have fun making this really pretty summer bracelet. This bracelet is size, tell you in a second, I have a ruler here. Size 16 This one here is seven and a quarter, the smaller one. Maybe seven and three sixteenths or three eighths. It's very, very tiny. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you have fun making this bracelet. Like I said, just order all your um, summer beads like this from Fire Mountain Gems, Bead of Holic, Art Beads. They all have pretty good reasonable shipping. I'd have to say Bead of Holic is the most expensive shipping um, they don't have flat rates in Canada 
and I'm not sure about international because it's more, but in the United States their shipping is probably a lot cheaper because it's a United States based company. So that's the only reason why I don't do a lot of shopping from Beta Holly because I don't like how much I have to pay for their shipping. When I can get it for $5 from Fire Mountain Gems to Canada and Art Beads is $1.99 shipping to Canada no matter what you buy. So <coughs> anyways, have yourself a great week. And I'll find a nice summer project to do again for my next tutorial. And I wish you all a really good week. Happy beating. Bye-bye.